Hi, this is Paul from Sketchfab, and I wanted to walk you through a fantastic new feature we have as part of our 3D editor, and that is the ability to add clear coat to your materials. Uh, so here you can see this phenomenal car model here, um, and we are in the 3D editor, and I'm looking around, and of course it's got that lovely kind of gloss shine that you would expect on a car. And if we go down to our materials tab here on the left hand side in 3D settings, you can see that this has been made capable uh, with our new clear coat material. If I turn this off, uh, you'll see, uh, you know, a nice, nice material there, slightly matte, uh, the paint itself underneath. Um, and we could go ahead and, uh, you know, adjust the roughness or glossiness on that up here to kind of get the look that we want. But the, the great thing about the clear coat material is it, much like an automotive clear coat paint from which it derives its name, it places another layer on top of uh, the original layer. So if we turn this off for a moment, here in the original material, we can still have roughness, metallic, you can still have a normal map in there. Uh, you know, roughness or normal map could be used to add sort of dust or scratches, that kind of thing, or it could be plain in this case. And then on top of that, you can now add the clear coat material as well. Uh, and under clear coat, uh, there are a number of settings here. Um, you know, the first one, of course, that's probably going to make the biggest difference here is reflectivity. But the clear coat material itself can include its own roughness and normal map, for example. Um, so just to kind of give you a sense of how this works, let me show you in a couple of other examples here as well. Uh, so here is a table, just a kind of a regular sort of table model here. And again, we have uh, the material here with metalness, base color, specular and so forth and roughness in this case you know, roughness is sort of set down here to zero. Uh, but if we go ahead and turn clear coat on in this example, we can actually kind of simulate the effect of a, a piece of glass on top of that wood. So clear coat doesn't have to just be uh, for vehicle, uh, vehicle or car use. It can also be, uh, you know, for anywhere where you want to sort of add that additional coat. And again, in this case, we haven't really added any kind of normal map or other sort of roughness materials in there. It's just simply that gloss. But you can even see here along this edge that you do get a sense of thickness here as well with that clear coat as well. So it's not, you know, particularly just as we sort of catch the light. So it's not just about adding reflectivity. It's about getting a sort of a true sense of a material on top of that and then finally just to kind of give you a sense of what else you might be able to do with it if you sort of think outside the, the box a little bit um, here is a candy model uh, and if we turn off clear coat uh, this is actually just a plain uh, sphere with with no uh, you know sort of geometry or anything else on top of that but in this case we've gone ahead and added a clear coat and we sort of dialed up the setting so a couple of things to take a look at here. So first of all, you've got the intensity of the clear coat. Obviously, zero is no clear coat, and we gradually kind of introduce it here, and you can see the effect that that's having there. And then you have this thickness component, and you'll notice that as I increase the thickness, it actually darkens the color. And uh, this is physically correct. The way to think about this is if you were to, you know, for example, staring into a can of varnish, uh, you know, something you'd apply to a piece of wood furniture or the floor, you know, the, the, the effect would be clear, but as you look down into the can, you would see a sort of a dark brown color. That's because you're looking through all of those different layers of the varnish, so to speak. So we have the same effect here. And again, by adjusting the thickness and having it very thin, thin you only sort of get it in this kind of Fresnel effect here on the edge of our candy. Uh, we've also added a tint as well, so we can change the color uh, of, uh, you know, our candy, or maybe we'll, we'll have something more kind of this in this sort of purple color here. And, and then finally, uh, the last couple of settings here, roughness, of course, typically you'd, you'd want to have your, um, you'd want to have your clear coat pretty glossy, uh, or not a lot of roughness to it, but you could add a roughness map in here as well. But the other major difference you're seeing in this particular case is we've added a normal map to the clear coat as well. And again, if I take that out, this is the pure clear coat itself. Let's just tuck the roughness down a little bit here. Uh, we're looking around our object here. And then we turn the normal map up and we start to see uh, we start to see that kind of coming into effect. So you can actually, if you start sort of thinking about um, the clear coat beyond its sort of an original purpose, you can start having some fun with it. You know, some strange things might happen, but, but play with it and have fun. But uh, to go back to the car for a second, I'm sure all of you guys out there that have 
been asking us uh, for great ways to make your car models look fantastic, this is going to be a great way uh, to do so. So uh, that's our new clear coat feature. It's available to everybody uh, in the 3D settings. Have fun.